So now we want to uh, add another operation to our complex numbers and that is multiplying and that's all we're going to focus on in this uh, in this video. How do I multiply my complex numbers? Starting with this very first example over here you can see I have an imaginary number on the outside that I am going to multiply into the complex number on the inside. And when we are doing this we are going to multiply just like uh, imaginary to imaginary and real to real just like I did when I added and subtracted my um, complex numbers. And by that I mean that here I have a negative 8 that I multiply by 2. Both of those coefficients we're going to call them. Both of those numbers, negative 8 and 2, are the mm, real numbers so to speak. And we are going to multiply those two numbers together to get a negative uh, 16 i squared. Now we're going to multiply the negative 8 times a negative 7 because those are uh, both kind of the same thing and we end up with a positive 56i. Now when you multiply, and we'll find out when you divide, but when you multiply um, imaginary numbers, look what happened over here in this first term. I, I got an i times an i which is an i squared. Well we know from the definition of imaginary numbers that i squared is equal to negative 1. So this is the same thing as saying negative 16 times a negative 1 which is technically just 16. And in the second part we can't do anything with that so we just leave that as 56i. So the i squareds are going to disappear on us uh, out from the, from the function but we end up changing the sign of that value, didn't we? Alright, let's practice that again. This time we're going to focus on multiplying two binomials together. We know we can do this from algebra by performing FOIL, right? First, outer, inner, last. So let's deal with the first numbers. So 2 times 2 is just 4. Then we have the outer numbers, which would be a 2 times a negative 7, which is a negative 14i. Okay, so we're multiplying the number 2 with the number se negative 7. Now we do the inner terms, which is a positive 7 times 2, which is a positive 14, but don't forget the i. And then we have the last term here. Now that is going to be 7 times negative 7, which is a negative 49 i times i which is i squared. But just like our previous example over there, we know i squared is really negative 1. So this negative 49 turns into a positive 49 and I have a 4, oops, we'll just make that closer. So I have 4 and what's happening to this negative 14i and positive 14i? They're gone, aren't they? So really I have 4 We'll make it closer still. I have 4 plus 49 which is just 53. Notice that when I multiplied this binomial times this binomial using the algebra that we already know by, uh, by multiplying using FOIL that I ended up in this particular case with just moving from a complex number that had both real and imaginary parts to just a simple real number that we're used to seeing. Now we're going to try that one more time and this time we're going to do it using this example right here, 5 minus 2i squared. Now you may remember that when I have 5 minus 2i squared that's the same thing as saying 5 minus 2i times 5 minus 2i. So we could do FOIL just like we did in the previous example and we could multiply out using FOIL this uh, two binomials that are right here and I'm going to encourage you to do that on your own. However, because I use this technique a lot when I'm teaching and probably throughout the rest of these videos, I'm going to show you a different technique for when I multiply this special type of a binomial right here this 5 minus something quantity squared, right? The same term squared or the same term multiplied by itself twice. And I can do this really, really fast 
by remembering this kind of, um, I don't know, sing song, if you will. So I'm going to take the first term in my set of parentheses here and I'm going to square it. So the first term squared would be 25. So I'm going to square the first. Then I'm going to double the product. And by that I mean what is the product of these two numbers in the parentheses? Well, 5 times a negative 2 is a negative 10. That's the product. 5 times negative 2 is a negative 10. And I'm going to double it. Or I'm going to multiply it times 2. So 5 times negative 2 is 10 doubled would be negative 20i, right? So I'm going to double the product, and then I'm going to square the last. This last term right here squared, well that's going to give me, so negative 2i times negative 2i is a positive 4i squared. Now let's simplify this right here. We know already that i squared is a negative 1. So this right here is going to be a negative 4, right? i squared is a negative 1 times 4 is a negative 4. Okay, so we can say 25 minus 4, which would be 21, and then minus the 20i that we still had sitting right here. So that little saying, when I have a special um, product like this, this right here is a special form of the of, of foil. Square the first, so we're going to square the first, double the product, square the last. So again, square the first, double the product, square the last, and we can quickly move into this type of a solution here. And once you're done watching the video, I'd like for you to do this part by hand, just like we did in the um, in example D, and make sure that you get the exact same answer, because I guarantee you that you will.